Okay, a very good morning. Today we're going to do our oral presentation under chapter 9, guys. Stop pulling tower. Firstly, my name is Iwarat Anakasi Kunalan, 196320. My name is Lee Jin Lin, 199181. My name is Anak Adasa, Bipi Kedawasan, yang menurut saya, 184. So, today we're going to explain about this. My part is introduction. Cooling tower is a removal device that uses water to transfer process with heat into the atmosphere. All cooling tower operate on the principle of removing heat from the water by evaporating a small portion of water that is recirculated through the unit. The mixing of the warm water and cooler air releases lightens heat of vaporization, causing a cooling effect to the water. In this case of laboratory unit, the water heater provides load. It allows the speed of the fan use the cooling warm water and the pump used to return the cool water to water system. This experiment will be conducted by changing one of the elements and the remains to other elements constant. Next is theoretical of this uh, experiment is this cooling tower experiment operates accordingly to first law of thermodynamics, energy which is energy is conserved. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed but can transform from one to another energy. The energy enters the cooling tower in type of heat energy. The data of the both entrants of the temperature was recorded. The formula was used is enthalpy is equal to U plus Pv. This formula is related to the temperature used to calculate the enthalpy of the system. The air pressure is too low that we can assume it as an ideal gas, which is delta H is C delta P. Delta H water plus delta H air is equal to zero. It is proved by the first law of thermodynamics. Next, I will pass to my friend to explain more. The experiment is conducted and divided into three parts. For part one, it is related to variable air flow rate. For the detailed operating procedure, firstly, the French top cooling tower should be stabilized under the following suggested conditions. For example, the orifice differential between an N H2O. For water flow rate, it should be adjusted to 40 grams per second. And for the cooling watt, it should be adjusted to 1 kW. Secondly, all the temperatures and flow rate should be noted and observed at regular intervals over a measured period of say 10 minutes. Thirdly, at the comments of this period, fill the map up tank to the gauge marked with distilled water. At the end of this period, fill the tank with distilled water with your measuring cylinder. Fourth, by distance, determine the quantity quantity of makeup which has been supplied in the time interval. And lastly, repeat the observation for different air flow rates. For part 2, from step 1 until step 4, they are similar to part 1 experiment. The only difference is the last step which is repeat the observation for different water flow rates. For part 3, the bench Top cooling tower should be stabilized under the following suggested conditions. For example, orifice differential should be alpha to 16 and NH to all water storage to 40 gear per second and cooling load should be 0 kW. Technical disability is reached when there is no further appreciable change in temperature of storage. Secondly, the keeping the water and and so constant, the load should be increased to 0 0.5 kW. And when conditions have stabilized, the observation should be repeated. And similar, similar tests should be made with cooling loads of 1 and 1.5 kW. If required, the four tests may be repeated at another constant storage. Checking now, firstly reduce the level in the makeup tank to about 50 and end by running normally, switch off both heaters. After 2 minutes, switch off all the power supplies. If the unit is to be idle for several days, it should be completely dead. Now we move on to how does the bench cooling tower work. The bench cooling tower unit includes a pump that impels hot water from the tank to manifest the pressure at the top of the tower. Water flow can be adjusted by the manual middle valve. A previous sensor located at the top of the unit measures the temperature of the water just to sampling the tower. The water cools down and it flows through the manifold of the, water, the tower and finally flows 
to the point that its temperature is measured and gas. The test for pulse atmospheric air is an accurate control of the air for introduced into power. The air passes through that up and drive up constant before entering the column. As the air goes to the column, its temperature and humidity rise. On the other hand, the water temperature falls. How does it do? The cooling of hot water was in the form of a convection pipe, which condensed air was thrown over the hot water and excited the cooling water, the cooling power at some temperature. The result paper, and you can see that all the parameters, for example, the air inlet, the air outlet, the air water inlet, the temperature, the outlet temperature, the outlet temperature, and observed and recorded in the result paper. But the condition of water, flow rate, and cooling power remain the same. However, the oil differential changed from 16 to 17 to 24. For table 2, which is the, the part of the experiment, all the parameters are same as part 1 experiment, and the condition of Cooling up and oil fast frequency remain constant. The only difference is the water flow rate changes from 40 to 30 to 38. And for the variable cooling rod, which is part 3 experiment, the condition of oil fast frequency and water flow rate remain constant. The only difference is cooling rod will uh, change from 1 to 0 0.5 to 1.5 kilowatt. Mm -hmm. uh, now we I pass to my two next question. Okay, my name is Linda and I will uh, explain the determinants from the results that have been uh, resulted. So we, we can make it as a determinant. This is the and up to in the context. Now I will proceed with this discussion. The purpose of the experiment is uh, the experiment is conducted with the all the unsweet properties of the fluid in the water from the water start in the room and to study the effect of the cooling loop from the wet or scotch. Water needs to always add it to the system because it acts as a cooling, which means the heat. It will result the high amount of heat which will decrease the temperature of the system. This experiment consists of three parts, part 1, part 2, and part 3. Part 1 conducted with variable air flow. Uh, Test 1 are equal to 36 mm, test 2 is 20 mm, and test 3 is 24 mm. The increase of the air flow caused the increase in the cup rate. Test 1 increased by 185 degrees, test 2 increased by 385 degrees, and test 3 increased by 560 degrees. This means the, the increase of the air flow caused the decrease of the water of the temperature. In test 1, the decrease to number 1, test 2 is 79, and test 3 is 8 degrees. Part 2 is conducted with a different water flow rate. Test 1, the water flow rate is 40 g per hour. Test 2 is 30 g per hour. And test 2 is 38 g per hour. The increase of the water flow rate caused the inconsistent release. The increase of the water flow rate caused the decrease of the steam water of the temperature. For part 2, we conducted by different cooling loops, constant water flow rate and the constant air flow rate. Test 1, the cooling rate is 1 kilo. Test 2 is 0.5 kW and test 3 is 1.5 kW. The increase of the cooling rate is the inconsistent reading of the new cup rate. The increase of the cooling rate is the inconsistent reading of the water at the temperature. The error in this experiment caused by the cooling error and system of the error. I am not familiar with the steel measurement and putting a loop to let the data cool, giving a 300 cups. The pressure of the cooling value was inconsistent that has been the cooling rate. The lower the energy in the form of energy transfer of the unit, and the higher the power, the lower the energy transfer. All the other things are the same, and that all the energy are the properties of air and water from the, the, from the charge and the level, and that the tension of the steady flow is reaching the electric system to go out energy and less than the system. The spread of cooling the and red box shows the system. That's all comments.